Yeah, Fabiola, otherwise known as Little Punk or Little Jerk, because she tortures me almost as much as I torture her. And she's going to give you a lesson in muscle testing. So what we're going to do with the fabulous one here is get her to kind of center her, oh, actually she's good where she stands, yeah. Turn sideways and put your two hands up to your chest, chin to the ceiling, close your eyes, take a deep breath, think of something positive, the most positive thing you can think of, I know, <laughs> you know what I was going to say, <laughs> she's laughing. Try not to think of me is what I was gonna is what I was gonna say. She knew I was gonna say it. She already broke out laughing before I said it. I guess I guess I'm predictable. So just a positive thought, and say my name is Fabiola. So everybody's watching the tip of her shoulder. My name is Fabiola. Let your body go. See it go, folks. There she go. Okay, stop. Okay, stop. Don't fall on your face. So now you're going to lie and say, my name is Erica. Deep breath, thinking of something positive again, you know, Kimmy. And um, <laughs> she's just laughing at me again. My name is Erica. My name is And backwards she goes, okay, so stop, don't fall. All right, so you want to pass it to strawberries? So, we see that forward is a positive result, backwards is a negative result. And what you all need to understand about that is, and you can just hold on for a moment, Fabio, I'm just gonna talk for a minute, um, is that what's happening here is when she tells a lie, her body recognizes, her immune system actually recognizes that as something that it can't deal with. Uh, it doesn't know how to process it, it's sensitive, and it treats it like a sensitivity or an allergy. So what happens is it preserves cellular energy, all the cells in the body slow down, digestion slows down to just about nothing, literally. You actually begin storing fat to protect organs and glands. But most importantly, your immune system is slowed down. So when your immune system is compromised like that, you are subject to an onset of disease, illness, even cancers, when your, your body's subject to negativity or something, a lie, negativity, any type of negativity, which I'll, I'll show you in a bit later. Um, so when she, what happens is the cells slow down, the muscles have to do more work, so she be, instantly becomes weaker, she begins to fall backwards as she lets go. When she said the positive word, that her, her immune system recognized, okay, she told the truth, her name is Fabiola, her, the cells in her body it released the preservation of energy, it increased cellular activity, her muscles don't have to work as hard, it forces her forward. And she's giving the eyes to my dog down there now. <laughs> and that's what happened, that's why you go forward. All, everything in life, whether it's a plant, a tree, the grass, my puppy on the floor that's being a spectator, uh, we're, all, we're nothing but cells, when those cells move faster, we become stronger. When they move slower, we become weaker. When we become weaker in muscle testing, we go backwards. When we become stronger, we go forward. So a couple of considerations will be staying away from all electrical appliances. If you've had a bad day, and you're going through negative emotional thoughts, and I will, I will give you an example of this in, in a moment after we do the food test, um, it, it can really affect it. Positive won't, Positive thought won't, but negative will, but we'll show you that in a moment. Stay away from or turn off your Wi-Fi rotors. Get your cell phone away from you. Stay away from all of that stuff. And, but for the moment now, we're going to show you, because it's something that everybody needs to know about, and that's the muscle testing of foods. You muscle test the food and everything that you put into your body and onto your body, including your own clothing. So in a moment here, we'll have uh, Fabiola strip and then we'll test her clothes in a moment. So, <laughs> okay, maybe we won't. <laughs> okay. Oh, there's that laugh. For all of you who didn't know about that laugh, that's the laugh that can be heard for provinces. <laughs> She's only four foot eleven, folks. <laughs> oh, go on. All right. So. <laughs> 
and put the strawberry to your chest. That is an organic strawberry, folks. I'm going to pull it to her chest. She's going to look to the ceiling. She's going to think of something positive like Tim once again. And she's going to sit. Was my, does my body, will my body thrive on this? And obviously it will. You really don't even have to say anything. What you just saw what happened. So now, here's what I want you to say. Okay, we get the point <laughs> before you fall down. I want you to say, my body will not thrive on this. Tell a lie. What your body recognizes is a lie because your body knows it will thrive on that strawberry. It just proved it. So now say, my body will not thrive on this. <clears throat> and let, it, let your body go and there it goes so, okay so don't fall on your ass alright so you can put the strawberry down beside you okay. yep so here's what we're going to do folks and this is something that I want you all to realize so this is something what, we're, what we've done here she could stand beside a wall if it was somebody with trust issues and you're having issues, we could have turned those two chairs around as we, I've done it with Erica just moments ago um, and keep them like two or three inches away from the front, her front and back and she would only move a couple of inches and there'd be no concerns of trust that she's going to fall because she would just touch them or she could stand a couple of inches from the wall, put a chair in front of her. If she goes forward, she'll touch the chair. And one of my puppies is coming to visit, so no. No, don't, don't pat the puppies. All right, Cannon and Jommer, you guys get to go. All right, puppies, out you go. Out, now, go, now. Not even too well. <laughs> out you go. There you go, sit up there, Jake, Cannon. Sit there, go up. You can't touch her while we're doing this. Bloopers. Anyway, the little Chewbacca is apparently going to watch, so, and that's fine. Um, so what we're going to do now is I want to show everybody the impact of positive and negative thought as well as positive and negative interaction. Okay. <laughs> so he's just going to sit there and stare at her now until she feels uncomfortable and pats him or something. <laughs> but we'll get to him later when we do surrogate testing. However, for now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have Erica, Eric, sorry, What's your name again? Fabiola? <laughs> I'm teasing. Uh, we're going to have Fabiola just stand there and put her hands on her chest, her chin up, and I'm just going to say a, a series of words. And you're going to let your body go and respond to the words. Let it go wherever it wants to go. So I'm going to start with the first series of words. Love, kindness, compassion, empathy. And you see what's happening. Those words provoked a response in her body that allowed her, that provoked her immune system to increase cellular activity. She became stronger, she went forward. Okay, so that, that just the words alone, whether it be her own thoughts or me sitting over here in the peanut gallery, they, they have a big impact on the people that surround us and I want you to see that. Now I want you to see when you're being a jerk or somebody's being a jerk to you, the impact that it has on you. So now rude, ugly, unwanted, unappreciated, unforgiving, and she's going backwards and she's trying not to fall on her feet. So you saw the stumble backwards. So what happened in that case, as I just explained, is that the immune system said, whoa, I don't know how to deal with this. This is much like an allergy or a sensitivity. We need to preserve energy, slow down all cellular activity. Your muscles and organs, such as your heart, your lungs, your kidneys, your liver, it all has to work much harder. You're the physical muscles. And because of that, you became instantly weaker and you went backwards. That's the impact that you have on somebody when you speak negatively, negatively towards them. You spread hate, negative messages. You become the shade over somebody's life. Or you allow the people that, to be the shade over your life. If you're allowing them to be the shade over your life, then you are literally allowing them to sign your death certificate because it, they are physically draining your body of its ability to, to fight infection, to fight disease, including cancers, nothing that you want to do. So we're just gonna do a couple of more examples here. So we saw the food, you should test everything that goes into and onto your body. But let's do this for muscle testing. Can you pass it down, please? 
muscle testing supplements and how you can do this. So we know this is in a package and that's okay because we're, we're, what we're doing is we're taking the energy from what's in that bottle, putting it against, we're, we're only missing one puppy, but that's fine. So we're putting it against her skin, the energy from her body, which extends, which, and we'll see in, a, in later videos when there's two people in these, uh, extends and they, they, they mix together. And then when you mix together, you identify whether you need it or not. Well, it looks like something she doesn't need. Chin up, eyes closed, positive thought. Does my body need this? No, her body does not need this. All right, you want to give her that one. All right, so now let's try it with this one. And there, <laughs> look, at, look at that. <laughs> and powerfully forward, so that's potassium. So now we know her, know her body needs potassium. And inside there are tablets, inside the bottle. No, no, we're not done yet. So now that we wanna know if it was drops or tablets, whatever it was, if it was liquid, if it was drops or teaspoons, you would say, in this case, we're gonna do tablets. So. Now you're going to say, I need one tablet and see if it go forward or backwards. I need one tablet. No, you're going backwards. You can let it go. There you go. Okay. For anybody who was paying attention to her shoulder and saw it happening before she even said it, um, I need two tablets. I need two tablets. And there you go. We have a positive response. Let's see what three says. So I need three tablets. All right, so we saw the only positive response was two tablets. One was a negative, two, three was a negative. The only positive and strongest positive was two tablets. So we know that in, in this dose for this moment, she could take two of those tablets. If it was drops, you'd hold the liquid up and you need drop or teaspoons, hold it up, you need how many teaspoons you need. And your body will tell you, your body knows everything. I'm an idiot. I only know how to help you teach your body and yourself how to listen to your body, to ask it questions, and how to interpret the answers. <laughs> and little Chewbacca is going to jump up there in a moment. I can see it coming. But this is balance testing. It's simple. It's a practice that you must. I know some of you think it's difficult. It's because you can't get out of your own head. But you just need to clear your head. Think of a positive. Think of something positive. Let your body go and do what it needs to do. You can do this in a grocery store, holding it to your chest, pretending like you're reading like you were reading the label, and just let your body go without anybody knowing. So you, as soon as you start to go forward, the more practice you get, the better you'll be at it. You can do it in a supplement store, so before you waste all your money on supplements that you don't need. But there's something that I do want to, oh, here we go. I'm far away from it, but I'll be back there in a moment. That's doctors. No, we're good. So one, one thing I want you to know about is specifically for women when it comes to tinfoil wrappers, when it, or like chip bags that have tinfoil or aluminum foil inside. This gets a lot of heat, but you do need tiny, minute amounts of aluminum and it plays a significant role in the balance of the female reproductive system and the, the hormones that it produces. Very tiny amounts. You're going to be hard pressed to find a woman who has perfectly balanced hormones. So uh, most of the time you tested a chip bag or a supplement bottle that has an aluminum on the top, you'll test positive, take, take it out of the bag and then test it again. <laughs> you'll find, because you're not going to test positive for potato chips, okay? You're just not. All right, you're not going to test. And you, I could have I given you Drano with a, the aluminum on it, and you might have tested positive because the aluminum on the top of it. So I just want everybody to know that. That's muscle testing in a nutshell, or balance or sway testing in a nutshell. That's how you do it. It's really that simple if you get outside of your own head. That's it. Bye for now.